In the world of the future, the death penalty will be completely abolished. Death row inmates won't die for committing serious crimes, but that doesn't mean they'll be spared. Instead, they will be subjected to countless dismemberment surgeries. The number of surgeries will be decided by the victim's family. In other words, if you hate the murderer so much, you can not dismember his entire body and make his life miserable, or you can not cut off just one arm to teach him a lesson. Willie, he went to prison for the rape and murder of a schoolgirl. He was on death row, but he was a lucky man, because what he was about to face was not the death penalty. He's about to face not the death penalty, but the latest revision of the penal code. Is it more painful to die, or is it more painful to live with an amputated limb? You can't tell by the look on Willie's face. He couldn't believe the law that had just been enacted. He admitted that he'd killed someone, and he was ready to die, but he didn't realize that he'd have to live a life that was worse than death. The thought of being dismembered countless times. He was devastated by the thought of being dismembered countless times. Blank was Willie's surgical supervisor. His job was to make sure he was responsible for ensuring that the mutilations went smoothly. He was also responsible for calming the inmates to put them in the right frame of mind for the operation. But but it was clear that Willie was going crazy. He'd rather be shot in the head than lie on an operating table and be tortured over and over again. And that's when Lank reassured him that he would be a model for the nation because he was the first to abolish the death penalty. So it's a chance for him to make amends. And if he does well, he might only need two or three surgeries. Willie got sick to his stomach thinking about all those surgeries. He'd throw up on the toilet soon after. He began his first surgery. Willie was already lying on the operating table. There's a video camera nearby. The victim's family is watching from a window. They will witness the loss of Willie's body. They'll be able to satisfy their thirst for revenge. As the surgeon sharp scalpel cuts into his left arm, Willie lost his left arm shortly afterward. Willie was taken from school to school. He was used as an example for the students to remind them not to commit crimes. When they saw him, they looked at him with sympathy. At the school, the man held up his broken left hand. He told the students not to commit crimes in the future, or else they'll lose parts of their bodies like he did. And yet, the families of the victims could only sense anger in his face. There was no genuine repentance for the crime. The victim's family was not satisfied with his performance, so they quickly scheduled him for a second surgery, this time to remove Willie's right right hand and left leg. This time, however, his youngest daughter stopped coming to see him because the scene was too gory. Even the eldest daughter couldn't watch halfway through the operation. Only the father was left to observe with satisfaction. After the second operation, Willie was obviously much more emaciated. He didn't look as fierce as before. Physical pain ravaged him. This time, he was taken to a high school. He was asked to educate the students on their thoughts. This time Willie was much quieter, with only one leg left. He'd long since smoothed out his edges. He wasn't as cocky as he had been at the beginning. He spoke calmly, telling the students to obey the law, or they'd become like him. However, the students seemed to take his words as a joke. One of the students made a gesture of chopping his arm, mocking Willie, with a sign that said, You're weak. Willie would have been furious if it were him before, but this time he just slowly lowered his head. After all, he was just a handicapped person. What's the use of being angry? In the end, he'd still be treated like a clown. Willie couldn't even bathe himself. He could only soak quietly in the bathtub. He looked at the nurse with a pained expression, but the nurse had no intention of helping him. But the victim's family won't let him go. He's about to have his third surgery. In other words, he's going to say goodbye to his last leg. After this, Willie's complexion got worse. He had lost all hope in life, and he lost his limbs. But that didn't stop the families of the victims from feeling sorry for him. That didn't stop the victim's family from resenting him. He also wanted to cut out Willie's kidneys and lungs. Even the doctors and nurses didn't expect a fourth operation. They were hesitant, but it was the family's order, and they had to do it. But this was certainly not the last surgery. Which part of Willie will be removed next? The man in front of me is pale. He's very emaciated because he's already had for human dismemberment surgeries. He can only live on nutritional fluids. Not only that, he watched himself being operated on. He even laughed out loud. After all that, he can feel his emotions anymore. It doesn't matter if he's sad or happy. All he needs to do is wait for the next surgery. Soon he'll have his fifth operation. This time, Willie cried harder than before because the family wanted to cut off his sex organ after the operation was successfully completed. Blank came over to check on him. Willie was like a vegetable. He didn't have a look on his face. Since then, Willie never once shed a tear. He didn't say a word like a deaf man being manipulated. Even after seeing Willie in this state, the victim's family was not ready to let him go. In the countless surgeries that followed, they removed Willie's ears and his nose and his tongue and so on. They even used lasers to remove surface hair. Willie now lied 
demise, lies in a hospital bed. Ian, his family saw him in this state, finally chose to sign a letter of understanding, looked at the whole body, wrapped in bandages Willie, the family left here with mixed feelings, I don't know if it has any regrets, so many times he made the decision, but at least Willie lived until the end, even though he's as good as death now, every day he has to suffer from the pain of his body, he'll be lying in this tiny bed for the rest of his life, Willie's room was at the end of the hospital, where the sun never shines, he could only stare at the ceiling in solitude, the only chance he had to get out of the house, was a monthly visit to each school with blank as a reminder to the students not to break the law for those who want to die the greatest punishment is to let them live in pain the victim's family they asked willie to operate again and again he was so arrogant and domineering at the beginning that he couldn't even speak in the end when the punishment is left to his enemies to decide then he'll become an abuser violence will always be met with violence then if this model replaces the death penalty in the future do you support it